Previously on FNAF Unsolved 2023 Freddy Fazbear's No More Say hello to the place 30 years in the future This is Fazbear's Fright A horror attraction containing everything Freddy's The location went up in flames in the year of 2023 However, what is the real story of this fire? Is someone onto William Afton after all of these years? But it's possible that he escaped the fire. Not the end. Not yet. Today, on FNAF Unsolved, we explore what happened after the fire of 2023. The scraps and leftovers of Fazbear Entertainment and the possible true ending of the story. Hello and welcome back to FNAF Unsolved. You know the drill, this is episode 9 and after last episode I didn't think there would be another. But here we are, taking a look at the ending after the ending. Today I'm being joined by a small YouTuber, small FNAF theorist, but great friend, Inky Ink. Uh, hi. Uh, yeah, hi. Hi, I'm, I'm Inky Ink. I'm also, um, awkward. <laughs> Is that it? Okay. Sure. Now tell me, um, it's taken a while for me to get used to, but why did you change your name from Stinky Ink to Inky Ink? Uh, a couple of reasons, really. Firstly, there's this uh, printing company called Stinky Ink, and I don't like them. <laughs> uh, and also, I never really enjoyed being called Stinky, because like, that's what people would usually shorten it to. Why were you ever called Stinky Ink? Is it like a high school nickname or something? Is your, is your real name Ink? Well, first of all, no to the second uh, and third questions, but basically, uh, I needed a Minecraft username, and my, my dad just looked at a bottle of ink and was like, stinky ink, and I was like, I can, I can live with that. <laughs> what? That is the most exciting origin story I've ever heard. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, Stinky. Inky. Uh, anyway, Inky, we're running low on intro time, so you've got 10 seconds to promote your YouTube channel. Go. Um, uh, hi, I'm Inky. Ink. I play games. You should watch me play games because they are fun and I, I am fun to, to watch. I don't know. Uh, just subscribe. Okay, but brilliant. Good. <laughs> Your time is up. His channel will be in the description, along with my website, fnafunsolved.com, where you can get all of your needs and stuff, and of course, take part in the weekly FNAF quiz. I'm here to announce a fourth winner today, with the hopes that I'll get an actual good drum roll this time. In third place is Finisterre. In second is Blazing Storm. And the winner of the fourth FNAF quiz is... Yes! Yes, yes, yes! A good drum roll! Finally! <laughs> I, I moved my keyboard uh, farther up the desk so I could... Uh... <laughs> I literally... I jumped backwards on my bed. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank goodness. Um, the winner is... You. <laughs> You're the winner. What? I'm the winner? Really? <laughs> what? I had no clue. <laughs> Which, 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 oh. The drum roll predicted it. It's been fulfilled, the prophecy. Yeah, I know. Your dream has come true. Yes. Uh, anyway, congratulations um, to you and the runners up. Remember hey. to take part in this week's quiz for your chance to win a shout out. Let's begin today's episode 2023. The Great Fire of 23. Somebody set fire to Fazbear's Fright, the horror attraction in hope that it would burn the murderer of many kids alive and set free the murdered kids from the old animatronics. It seemed to be successful at first, however, it only did half the job. The murderer was called William Afton and he had the responsibility over Fazbear Entertainment. After a springlock failure, he was killed but brought back to life and immortality through Remnant. The only way he could have gone forever was through the fire but he managed to escape it. Most of the animatronics went up in flames, except for Ennard, an amalgamation of the Funtime animatronics, the puppet, possessed by Charlie, and of course, Springtrap, possessed by William Afton. The children needed to be freed, and the killer needed to be stopped. The only way to do that is through a second fire. It's funny to think about how Afton's plan failed due to the elements of the Earth. Pardon? 
Well, he was probably trying to figure out the secret to immortality his whole life, and then the water that caused the spring lock failure basically killed him. Yeah. Uh, then when he thought he was finally immortal, fire was the thing that stopped him. His plan wasn't exactly very good, was it? Not at all. For a guy who makes these complex animatronics in his own basement, you'd think he'd consider nature as a threat, right? Henry and Michael Afton, the two men on Afton's tail, had a plan. They had to gather the remaining pieces of Fazbear Entertainment and get it all in one place, prepared to be destroyed by another fire. It wasn't easy, however. Four entities were discovered and salvaged. The first was called Molten Freddy. With a body composed of wires and eyes, it was detected as a new form of Ennard after decades. However, a new form of Circus Baby was also found, called Scrap Baby. Bystanders say, there was an argument between the Funtime animatronics, and Baby was kicked out. Okay, just for your entertainment, we're gonna read out this argument as if we were schoolgirls fighting over who's prettier or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> you are crowding us. Be quiet. You can't tell us what to do anymore. Yes, I can. You will do everything I tell you to. <laughs> we outnumber you. That doesn't matter, dummy. We found a way to eject you. You would be lost without me. Haha, <laughs> ha. say goodbye to our friend. I can put myself back together. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that sounded so ridiculous. We are the best actors. Coming to theatres 2020, William was found and salvaged too. However, he also took a different form. One referred to as Scrap Trap. His physical appearance was different but it could have been a result of the fire. Finally, was an animatronic called Lefty. Upon further inspection, he seemed to be part of the Rockstar animatronics. More old Freddy designs, but he also carried the puppet. What was the puppet doing inside of Lefty? The first theory explains it. Maybe Charlie was like, I don't want to be a stupid scary puppet anymore, so she just hopped into a bear suit and was like, this is better. <laughs> Do you think the animatronics have feelings now that the children's souls are possessing them? I think, judging from the fact that you can hear their screams and terror in the robots, yes. I think they have sad feelings. You see, I don't think children have feelings. Moving on. Blueprints were discovered, and one was titled L-E-F-T-E, -E, pronouncing Lefty. The letters stand for Lure, Encapsulate, Fuse, Transport, and Extract. These are most likely the steps that the robot takes towards protecting the puppet. Why? These blueprints were not made by Afton Robotics, but rather Fazbear Entertainment, meaning Henry was the man responsible for them. He created this animatronic to encapsulate and protect his daughter. A bracelet code was added to the robot, meaning just like the puppet, Lefty could also track Charlie when she was wearing her green bracelet. This would have been such a good idea if Henry just made the robot manual. He could have controlled him with the remote control and just walked his daughter into a fire. Don't take that out of context. But like, seriously, what use is putting a robot into another robot? It's like putting a banana in a sock. It's not going to do anything. Don't take that out of context either. With the animatronic salvaged and everything together in one place, the team set the building on fire, finally freeing the remaining children's souls, and sending William Afton into a never-ending hell. You played right into our hands. Did you really think that this job just fell out of the sky for you? No. This was a gift for us. You gathered them all together in one place, just like he asked you to. All of those little souls in one place, just for us, a gift. Now we can do what we were created to do, and be complete. I will make you proud, Daddy. Watch, listen, and be full. Connection terminated. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth, if you still even remember that name. But I'm afraid you've been misinformed. You are not here to receive a gift, nor have you been called here by the individual you assume, although you have indeed been called. You have all been called here, into a labyrinth of sounds and smells, misdirection, and misfortune. 
A labyrinth with no exit, a maze with no prize. You don't even realize that you are trapped. Your lust for blood has driven you in endless circles, chasing the cries of children in some unseen chamber, always seeming so near, yet somehow out of reach. But you will never find them. None of you will. This is where your story ends. And to you, my brave volunteer, who somehow found this job listing not intended for you. Although there was a way out planned for you, I have a feeling that's not what you want. I have a feeling that you are right where you want to be. I am remaining as well. I am nearby. This place will not be remembered, and the memory of everything that started this can finally begin to fade away, as the agony of every tragedy should. And to you monsters trapped in the corridors, be still, and give up your spirits. They don't belong to you. For most of you, I believe there is peace, and perhaps more, waiting for you after the smoke clears. Although for one of you, the darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you whole, so don't keep the devil waiting, old friend. My daughter, if you can hear me, I knew you would return as well. It's in your nature to protect the innocent. I'm sorry that on that day, the day you were shut out and left to die, no one was there to lift you up into their arms, the way you lifted others into yours. And then, what became of you? I should have known you wouldn't be content to disappear. Not my daughter. I couldn't save you then. So let me save you now. It's time to rest, for you, and for those you have carried in your arms. This ends, for all of us, in communication. Inky. I've asked this twice in this series now, but three times a charm. What way would you most want to die? Um, uh, is, is it boring to say peacefully in my sleep? <laughs> no. Uh, what about you? you? You still interested in floating around in space forever? No, actually, I've done my time with that, and I'm satisfied. Good, so uh, what now? Well, imagine trying to eat a saxophone. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> uh, I laughed halfway through it, but I'm gonna keep that in because <laughs> I just couldn't say it. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Imagine the sound it would make. <laughs> would it make any sound? <laughs> everything went to plan. The second fire destroyed everything, and Freddy's is gone forever. Is this the real ending to the story? No. What happened to Golden Freddy? His soul was never rested, and his properties are yet to be explained. Find out next week on the final episode of the season. For now, let's look at two more theories on the second fire of Freddy Fazbear's. The first theory concerns Scrap Trap. We are aware there were multiple Spring Bonnie suits back in 1983. The physical appearance of Scrap Trap looks entirely different to that of Spring Trap. Some believe that Afton changed suits between the two events, but if so, what would have been the purpose of that? He's just making sure he looks nice for his date at Freddy Fazbear's. Oh yeah? Date with who? Fire. <laughs> you know, last episode I said no more FNAF shipping. Shipping's for boats, but that, that I'm alright with. Do you want a date with fire? Sorry, we're not being sponsored by Tinder. Finally, now that everything Freddy related has gone and it's the end of the story, did Michael and Henry continue living? Theorists say they also joined the gang in the fire. Michael is dreadful with a rotting purple body and no family to go back home to, and Henry would be living with the guilt of arson and the creation of Fazbear Entertainment. In the recording, Henry stated that it ends for all of us. Does that mean that Michael and Henry ended their lives too, to end their suffering? It's highly possible, but unconfirmed. With the end of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, the murderer of the uncountable numbers of children, and the unknown whereabouts of Golden Freddy, this case remains unsolved.